Hi, brothers and sisters. 16th of June. I know that day well because it's my grandson Levi's birthday today. So happy birthday, Levi. Turning four. Hope you've had a great day. Folks, ever had one of those moments in time where you just think to yourself, I have so much information, there's so much going on, and I wish, just like Psalm 55 says, I could fly away. Psalm 55, verse 6, the psalmist is reflecting on his, his plea to God, and he says this, Oh, that I had the wings of a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Don't tell anyone, but I tell you what, at the moment, I feel like if I could just fly away. Of course, all those who are fans of the Coen brothers know that great movie, uh, Brother, Where Art Thou? and that wonderful song that was sung, I'll Fly Away. It's a great song. It reminds me of the guy who wrote it, Albert Brumley, way back in 1929 as he was in the cotton fields. And he just thought, if only I could fly away and be at peace. Eternal rest is the lyric that he has in the song where I can just... Man, be in a place where there's an eternal bliss. And I think sometimes, like you, in this season, it's like if we could just fly away. A lot's been happening, as always. There's a couple of things. Again, thank you so much for those who engage with us on Sunday night with the Q&A. Thank you for those who help keep providing us with food for Anglicare. Keep doing that. It's a great blessing. Don't forget the Christian Explored course coming up uh, uh, next Tuesday. Uh, a great chance to engage uh, and to ask questions about God, who he is, what's he doing, and what's happening this season. More than likely, you're all sitting there wondering, well, Ian, you said something on Sunday about Sunday the 5th of July because restrictions have lifted, which is true. Today, the staff have done a wonderful job to try and wrestle with what might it look like coming back on that particular Sunday. I'm still waiting to hear from our Archbishop and the advice from the diocese but we're working hard at what it might look like as a platform across that day. Keep remembering the fig tree church we left in March, the way we did things, what it looked like, will not be the church we gather back in July. There's all sorts of restrictions still, so you've got to be mindful of that. Please, can you manage your expectations? We're trying to manage our expectations about what we can do, what's appropriate to do, what it will look like. And whatever we do... We'll really have a focus in July as we test what works, what doesn't work as we look to the future. So our goal is to help as many as we can reconnect in July in anticipation of fully re-engaging in the month of August, we hope and pray. On Thursday, I'm guessing I'll have some more information to tell you about what that will really look like, what the picture will look like for us on that day. But yes, we're doing all we can to help us all gather in some way on that Sunday. So keep praying for wisdom, really value that, keep engaging uh, as well. Really, that's uh, all for me today. It's a short one. Uh, I hope you're well. Take care. God bless and talk to you on Thursday.